Hey there, scholars. Hope you're doing well. Hope your family and loved ones are also doing well and that everyone is safe and healthy. Uh, I wanted to just send a quick video update for you so that you can sort of know what to expect when I see you next week. Of course, as you know, this week Palm Beach State uh, suspended all classes, all online and on-campus classes, uh, as we transition to remote or distance learning, right? So every single class at Palm Beach State is now going to be conducted online uh, in an effort to make sure that we are all safe uh, in the coming days and weeks as, as we learn more about uh, the coronavirus. And so what I wanted to do was just give you a quick tour of what we're going to actually use to conduct these classes. And we are going to be meeting live uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Thursdays, depending on when your face-to-face -face class normally met. We will meet live right here on Blackboard on those days and times. So what I mean by that is if we normally met on Mondays and Wednesdays at 11 a.m. on campus, we are still going to meet live Mondays and Wednesdays at 11 a.m. We're just going to be doing it right here on Blackboard Collaborate. And of course, if you had a Tuesday, Thursday class at 8 a.m., for example, we'll be still meeting Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 a.m. live right here on Blackboard Collaborate. So uh, we are resuming classes on Monday, March 23rd. So my Monday, Wednesday classes, I will see you on Monday. And uh, for my Tuesday, Thursday classes, I, of course, will see you on Tuesday. Tuesday, March 24th will be the first time I see you live. Live. And uh, for all of those classes, we are going to be again using Blackboard Collaborate. And I wanted to just show you real quick how to access Collaborate and what you can kind of expect uh, to see. So after logging into Blackboard and entering our course, you're going to see a Blackboard shell that looks pretty similar to this. And why don't I go ahead and make this full screen? And uh, of course, some of this might look slightly differently. Of course, I'm using the student preview, so you won't have this big gold bar at the top. And depending on what your screen resolution is, uh, some of this might look bigger or smaller, but the layout uh, in general should look similar to this. And all of the information, of course, will be the same, uh, no matter uh, really what your screen size is or anything like that. Uh, if you haven't already, I would really recommend you just quickly read through this, just so you're kind of staying up to date about uh, what's happening. But uh, the most important part, of course, is how to get into the class. So you're going to click on the left-hand navigation screen or, or panel here, the Collaborate Ultra link. And that will take you to a new screen. Again, some new information here. So quickly read through that. And what you're going to want to focus on is this last part of the page here, the, the part that says Collaborate Ultra Remote and virtual classroom you're going to click to enter so when you are ready on monday or tuesday for class you're going to log into blackboard click collaborate ultra and then click here to enter and that's going to put you into the ultra uh, collaborate environment you can see here that we just got one option just one course room um, uh, and so on Monday or Tuesday when I meet for, uh, with you for the first time, you'll go ahead and click on the course room, the only option available. And then you'll see this kind of side panel here pops out. And you have uh, really the main option here is to join the course room, which is what we're going to do in just a second. But if you're noticing that maybe your audio isn't working once you get into the classroom or something's not quite right, but you definitely want to join, uh, what you can always do is use the telephone number and PIN that's presented to you. And you can see here that uh, don't, don't think it's this one for all of my classes, right? This is unique for this particular classroom. So make sure you're using the information and PIN that's on your Blackboard course. Uh, but you would dial the phone number that's shown and enter the PIN that's shown, and you will be put into the class classroom through audio using your telephone. So even though you might not be able to see anything, uh, at least you can hear something in the meantime. So just keep in mind uh, that you can always use your telephone for the audio. But let's go ahead and actually join the course room, meaning let's enter the classroom. So we'll let that load up. And there we go. Now we are in the classroom. We're in Blackboard Collaborate. And I just want to direct your attention to a few things here that are important. Um, if this is the first time that you've entered Blackboard Collaborate on uh, your computer, there is a uh, possibility that two different permission warnings are going to pop up, meaning your computer is going to ask you for two different authorizations. It's going to first ask you to uh, approve or authorize the use of the microphone, so you're going to want to allow that. And then the next thing it's going to ask permission for is to access your webcam if you have one. And again, um, I would recommend that you allow both the audio and uh, webcam. That way, not only can we 
hear you uh, if you have any questions because you can talk to the class just like you would uh, in a real classroom but it would be nice to see everyone as well if you have that capability uh, when you enter Blackboard uh, Classroom here, the Collaborate, you'll notice that even if you've given access to your microphone and video, that the microphone and video are uh, blocked by default. So what you want to do is, once you enter the classroom, you want to make sure that you click on Share Audio, and then Blackboard Collaborate now is going to broadcast Share Your Audio and you want to make sure that you can see that microphone kind of level rising and falling and that just indicates that your audio is actually working the microphone is working if you've given permission for your microphone uh, to to broadcast and you see that the microphone icon is green and when you talk you don't see that audio level uh, level rising and falling it just means that there's something off so you can partner with me and we can see what's going on and we can try to get that that microphone fixed I'm gonna go ahead and block it though just for the moment and then, of course, you would want to grant permission to your, your webcam. I'm not going to do that here because the, the, the software that I'm using to record this video uh, is, is using that video, so I don't want to screw anything up. Um, but you will click on Share Video, and it's going to give you a little preview window and say, you know, you're about to go live, or this is about what, you know, this is what you're going to share, or make sure you look your best, or something like that. Um, so you'll just say, okay, that's fine, and, and once you uh, allow the... A collaborate window to share your video then then not only can I but all of your other classmates can see you as well and then the last little icon over here is a raise your hand icon so if at some point you have a question when uh, I'm lecturing or maybe uh, one of your colleagues is asking a question and you want to engage or you want to answer or you you have a question yourself you can just hit the raise your hand option and then what it does is it pops up on on my screen that you have a question and, and I can certainly turn it over to you to to either take control or or, or ask your question or or maybe give some advice or feedback, whatever it is that you want to share with, with the class, you can do that. And to put your hand down, you just click it again. Uh, another thing that I want to show you here is if you click on your little profile picture here, you can see that we have a whole bunch of different options. And these are really cool because you can provide kind of instantaneous in the moment feedback. So if I, for example, say, you know, how was that example? Uh, any questions? How do we feel about what we just covered? Well, you can quickly provide some feedback. You can say, you know, you're happy. And I can quickly look at the roster and see how everyone is feeling. Or maybe you want me to go a little slower. Maybe I'm running through an example too quickly. Well, just say slower and it'll pop up on my screen that, you know, John Smith wants me to go slower. And I can kind of slow down and adjust my pace uh, as necessary. Uh, you can say maybe you need to run and get a drink real quick or somebody's knocking at the door you can say away and it will set the away status and I will know based on the roster that you just stepped away real quick which is not a problem and then when you get back you can just say that you are oh <laughs> I clicked on back already you can just say that you're back uh, what else here there's an agree or disagree so you can also provide that feedback if for some reason we're asking an agree or disagree question uh, but lots of different feedback and tools to, to communicate so what I want you to do is between now and Monday if I see you on Monday or between now and Tuesday if I see you on Tuesday go into Blackboard Collaborate kind of play around you can't break anything I'm gonna leave this course open uh, so this course room uh, here in Blackboard I'm gonna leave this general course room unlocked you can see meaning it's available so anybody can go in there and play around so go ahead make sure that you can get in make sure that your uh, your microphone is working and that your webcam is working and I also want to, to to mention that even if you don't have a computer at home you can absolutely still participate live through your mobile device you can access collaborate through either the Blackboard app or directly through the uh, the uh, web browser so uh, lots of convenient ways that you can participate uh, I also want to make mention that if you're not able to join live um, that's okay I'm gonna be recording all of these sessions that you can access at a later date now of course I would love for you to be able to participate live just like you would in class but I realize that lots of things are going on this is definitely an unprecedented time not only in the history of the college but really uh, as a country and uh, as, a, as a global community things are, are, are certainly different so if you've got different responsibilities popping up or work has changed uh, that's okay I, I understand that you may not be able to join uh, live for every single session what you're going to want to do though at some point is to when you log into Blackboard enter the class after going to Blackboard collaborate and entering the collaborate environment here at the top the up left, uh, upper left hand corner here in this kind of black bar 
these three horizontal lines, if you click on that, it will pop out a menu and you're going to want to go to recordings. Uh, and you'll start to see every lecture that we give, every time that we meet, we're going to record that session and it will pop up here. So you'll want to go back and at some point review the lecture. All right. Uh, so that's what I want you to do. I want you to go in uh, between now and next week, kind of play around, uh, get comfortable with Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I am always available for you. Please don't hesitate to email me uh, day or night. It goes right to my phone. So even if I'm at home streaming and, and binge watching Netflix, I'll, I'll get that email. All right. So please be in contact with me. Uh, and I, I look forward to seeing you all. I miss you and I'm ready to get back to work. All right. In the meantime, until I see you next week, take care, stay safe and healthy.